Hey, this is Wolf from Armory Terrain, and tonight we're down in my laundry. Yes, there are swords on the wall, because every laundry should have swords, right? Anyway, if you're like the vast majority of people, your hot water system, if it's in your laundry, which mine is, right next to my swords and washing machine, is covered in all sorts of stuff. Unfortunately, all this sorts of stuff tends to run down the outside of the bottle and then I'm getting a bit of corrosion on the top of the water heater. Now, I need to do something about this before it actually corrodes because that will cost me quite a chunk of money. So I've decided to make it a little bit more goblin core. So firstly, I'll clean off the top of this, wa top of this water heater and show you what I'm talking about. So what a mess of corrosion. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this with a bit of sugar soap and a rag and clean it up a bit and then grab a measurement off it. Okay, the damage is a little bit worse than I thought it was and I'm gonna have to get some kill rust and probably some plasti dip or something to seal this up long term. But short term, I'm gonna make a shelf to put on top of it. I've just measured it and the diameter is 64 centimeters. So if I make it a little bit bigger so it overlaps, so anything that leaks down goes straight to the floor instead of running down the side, I think we'll be in business. Let's go out and see what I can make it out of. Okay, after having a look around in my workshop, I've decided to have a bit of a change of plans. What I intended to cut it out of was some of this core flute that's been glued together to make it nice and strong get light but because I'd already cut a lot of that sheet up for a rat cage backdrop it didn't have enough so instead I'm making it slightly smaller and pushing it further forward on the hot water system so once my hot glue heats up I'll be gluing it back onto this and it's got holes all the way around the sides from the core flute and I'm going to tape it up with gaff tape to make sure that no ants or mud wasps decide to make a home in there. Because you don't want to be reaching for detergent and have a mud wasp come out and sting you. Not cool at all. I also have this old piece of mushroom stuff that I made a long time ago. So instead of making new mushrooms tonight, I'm going to recycle what's on here. I am, however, going to make a new log to go right along the back of it, and we'll see how it goes. I also have a roll of artificial grass to glue onto it to make it look pretty. So once the glue gun heats up, I'll start assembling it, and then I'll turn the camera back on to show you where we're up to. Okay, so. I have a piece of artificial turf cut for it. Yay, it's not glued on yet. So what I have here, which you may or may not be able to see in all this whiteness, is what's roughed out to be a log across the back. So my next step is a quick couple of coats of paper mache and some paint. And then we'll come back and glue down the grass and the mushrooms and try and make it look pretty. So here we have my piece of foam and now it looks more like timber at least I think it looks more like timber with the turf glued onto it now I could just leave it like that but it's not very goblin core so from the other piece of scenery I'm going to attach these two mushrooms plus these four mushrooms and some bits of fern I think once it looks all pretty I have eight of these little square feet to glue onto it, and then I'll show it to you in place with a close-up pan. Well, here we are with the finished product. And I think the piece of polystyrene painted up quite well to look like timber. I've added a little bit of plastic fern down that end. And other than that, 
just all the mushrooms. So, I, I am pretty happy of how this has turned out. I am, I am pretty damn happy. So, this is Wolf with the finished product. It's covered again with all the stuff that should be on the shelf. And yeah, just using some stuff that I had floating around my workshop and repurposing one piece of mushroom scenery, I've created this. So, you know what time it is? Time for me to say, stay in and make something. <laughs>